Hello friends, in the series of thin bitmus layers, today we will discuss mixed steel surfacing or MSS. This is considered as an alternative to pre-mixed carpet. Since hot mix plants are now widely available across the country, it was considered practical and easy to adopt a hot mix which would encompass or incorporate both the pre-mixed carpet and seal coat. Mixed seal surface code was brought by IRC in 2008, that is IRC SP78. MSS or mixed seal surfacing is a closed graded premixed surface layer of 20 mm thickness, which is generally laid as a bearing course on low volume roads having traffic up to 10 MSA. It is composed of graded aggregates pre-mixed with the bituminous binder and laid over a previously prepared base or surface in accordance with IRC SP78-2008 or Section 508 of MORTH 2013. MSS or closed graded premix surfacing are of two types, type A and type B. Type A is a closed gradation and is adopted in areas where, where rainfall is more than 1500 mm per year. Type B is a relatively open gradation and it is adopted for rainfall area with less than 1500 mm per year. MSS is a recipe type mix with no mixed design requirement as generally considered in case of DBM or bitmus concrete. The materials which are required for making or preparing MSS are same as generally used in any bitmus layer that is binder and aggregates. The paving grade bitumen as per IS73 can be used or modified bitumen as per IRC SP53 can be used and if required then tack coat or prime coat can also be provided. In that case rapid setting cationic emulsion confirming to IS8887 is generally used and I have uploaded another video on prime coat and tack coat and you can refer that video for details on these two layers that is prime coat and tack coat. General guidelines which are used to select a type of binder are like this that for traffic intensity of less than 500 commercial vehicles per day and where temperature variation throughout the year is less than 25 degrees centigrade then 60 70 grade binder may be used in case the difference between maximum and minimum atmospheric temperature is more than 25 degrees centigrade and traffic intensity is less than 500 commercial vehicles per day then 80 by 100 is preferred and paving bitumen 80 by 100 is used in high altitude area and snowbound regions irrespective of traffic intensity. IS73 also provides some general guidelines for choice of binder based on climatic conditions as given in this table. So you can select VG10, VG20, VG30 according to the lowest daily mean air temperature and highest daily mean air temperature. And similarly, in IRC SP53, the guidelines are given for selection of modified binder also. Again, for lowest mean temperature, 10 degree, minus 10 degree centigrade or higher and lower than minus 10 degree centigrade and daily temperature, highest daily temperature less than 20, 20 to 30 or more than 30 and accordingly you can choose the modified binder from this table. So material required for making layer of MSS is same as in any other layer of bitmus course that you need aggregates and binder. Aggregate, coarse aggregate plus fine aggregate. In case of coarse aggregate, what MORTH specification suggests that it should be good quality aggregate which are clean, hard, tough and of uniform quality. And these are the tests prescribed to just the quality or adequacy or suitability of aggregate to be used in the layer of MSS. A strength test, impact value or abrasion value, any one of these two. Blackness index should not be more than 25. 
Stripping value should not be more than 5 or you can say minimum coating should be 95%. Water absorption is limited to 1% and if it exceeds 1%, then soundness test is mandatory. Soundness test can be done either with sodium sulphate or with magnesium sulphate. Accordingly, the loss in mass is suggested here after 5 cycles of wet and dry. Fine aggregate which is the material passing 2.36 millimeter that can be either a crushed rock material or natural sand or it can be mixture of both but it should be clean and free from injurious soft or flaky particles and organic or deleterious substances. The final grading after mixing coarse aggregate and fine aggregate should match with the grading as given in this table for type A and type B. And when you mix fine aggregate and coarse aggregate, the attempt should be to have the grading which is very close to the midpoint of these ranges so that you get a maximum density and maximum compaction of the layer. The quantity of material which is prescribed for 10 meter square area and 20 millimeter thickness of MSS of type A or type B aggregate required is 0.27 meter cube and bitumen is 22 kg for type A and 19 kg for type B. So with these if you calculate what would be the density and binder content in a mix I will just give you rough idea say for 10 meter square area of 20 millimeter thick layer of MSS volume will be 10 into 20 divided by 1000 because this is in millimeter so convert into meter that is 0.2 meter cube that is the volume of the 10 meter square area aggregate required is 0.27 meter cube bitumen required is 22 kg for type a and the bulk density of dry aggregates varies from 1200 to 1750 kg per meter cube for this example, let us assume that the bulk dry density is 1500 kg per meter cube. It is only for aggregates. So, the weight of aggregate will be density multiplied by its volume that is 0.27 into 1500 that is 405 kg. Bitumen is 22 kg and therefore total mix is 427 kg. So, in the total mix, the binder is 22 kg and therefore binder content is 22 upon 427 that is 5.15 percent by weight of mix. And density, density will be total weight divided by total volume 0.2. So, 427 divided by 0.2 that is 2135 kg per meter cube or 2.135 gram per centimeter cube. That is how you can determine the density of the mix binder content in the mix but important point is to determine very accurately the bulk density of aggregate after mixing fine aggregate and coarse aggregate. Now construction steps for MSS. IRC SP78 2008 suggests that mixed seal surfacing shall not be laid or placed during rainy weather or when the subgrade or base is damp or when the atmospheric temperature in the shade is 10 degrees centigrade or less. The various steps which are followed in the construction of MSS is preparation of surface. The course on which MSS is to be laid shall be prepared, reshaped and brought to a uniform grade and profile. Any depression or porthole should be properly filled and compacted in advance. Then the surface will be swept clean and made free of dust and foreign material. If the receiving surface is granular, then prime coat should also be applied. And above that, you apply the tack coat. Tack coat may be of paving bitumen or emulsion. If paving grade bitumen is used, then it should be heated to a temperature so as to achieve a viscosity of two points. If emulsion is used, then the normal range of spraying temperature is 20 to 70 degrees centigrade and the quantity of spray is 0.2 to 0.35 kg per square meter. And as I told you earlier, I have another video on prime coat and tack coat. You can refer that video for further details. Then 
preparation of the mix mix for msi should be prepared in mechanical mixture or hot mix plant vitamin will be heated to appropriate temp application temperature in binder tank aggregates are also heated in a separate tank and then dry mixed for about 15 seconds then hot vitamin is added to hot aggregate to obtain a uniform mix the heating and mixing temperature for binder and aggregate will depend upon the grade of the binder and the general guideline is that binder at the time of mixing should be 150 to 163 degree centigrade and temperature of aggregate should be 155 to 163 degree centigrade but the difference between the temperature of binder and temperature of aggregate should not be 14 more than 14 degree centigrade at any time some guidelines are given in IRC SP 78 also to choose the determined temperature, aggregate temperature, mixed temperature, laying temperature, rolling temperature depending upon the grade of the binder. So this table can be referred for the temperature of the binder, temperature of aggregate, temperature of mixed material, laying temperature, rolling temperature. Important point is that rolling must be completed before the mat cools down to these minimum temperatures. Then fifth step is that after mixing, the mix shall be immediately transported from the mixer to the point of use in suitable vehicle. And after that, spreading and rolling. The mix should be spread by mechanical paver, spreader and graders. Uneven surface should be corrected while the mix is still hot. And after spreading of the mix, rolling will be done with 8 to 10 ton smooth wheel tandem roller and as usual rolling shall commence at the edges and progress towards the center longitudinally. It will continue till there is no rolling mark visible and no more compaction takes place. And after that opening to traffic, the road will be open to traffic as soon as the mix cools down to ambient temperature. Quality control shall be exercised as per the provision given in MORTH or MORD specifications. And these are the provisions given in two manuals, MORTH 2013 and MORD 2014. Quality of binder as per IS 73, IS 217 or IS 87 as the case may be as per suggestion given in IS code or, or one test per lot or one test per 10 tons of material. Test on aggregate, impact value or abrasion value, one per 200 meter cube and with the change of source. And as per MORD, it is one per 250 meter cube and with change of source. Flackiness index or combined flackiness elongation index. In MORTH, it is CFI that is combined flackiness and elongation index, one test per 100 meter cube and with change of source, whereas in case of MORD, it is only flackiness index which is to be determined and that is one test per 250 meter cube. Stripping value or water absorption, it is one test for each source and here one set of three for each source. Grading of aggregate to be tested two per day or one per 50 meter cube or one per day. Binder temperature for application should be checked regularly. Binder content should be determined two tests per day as per MORTH 2013 or one test per 500 meter cube or one test per day. Thickness of the layer should be checked regularly. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. That is how MSS layer is constructed.